In this video, I show the basic control responsiveness of the blade chroma. In other words, how long before I move the relevant control stick into a new position and the unit responding to that input. I came on to the numbers given in the description of this video by taking a few samples from different points of this video and counting frames, then averaging the results. One caveat, this video was taken under moderate wind conditions roughly 10 to 15 mile an hour gusts and this combined with the fact that I'm really not using the controller in the most natural or comfortable position in order to keep it in front of the camera makes the unit a little less stable or predictable than I'd like it to be. Despite this, I think these numbers overall are pretty good. The chroma is very responsive to input, often beginning to respond from the moment I started to move the stick. If you freeze frame this video, you can see it leveling out and going into its maximum banking angle until the motion has stopped, then settling back into a less aggressive banking angle as it starts to cruise in the new direction. Mind you, it can't really be compared to the more aggressive handling of an acrobatic quadcopter, as the chroma never seems to bank beyond around 30 degrees. But it's not really designed for that. So we, will, so we still want to be sure to give ourselves plenty of stopping distance, probably about half a second, considering human reaction time. Don't expect it to stop on a dime, especially in hair mode, where it has um, a lot of momentum. Now the numbers that I got seem to roughly correspond between hair mode and turtle mode. Um, there's not a whole lot of difference between the modes other than just the speed at which you're traveling at. Um, it took me about 150 milliseconds for me to comfortably move the stick from one end to the other. Um, after that, the the unit leveled out pretty quickly. That didn't take more than about 50 milliseconds after I had moved the stick to the relevant end. And it almost always reached maximum pits in about 8 more frames, which is about 267 milliseconds. Um, by then, it was traveling pretty slowly, and movement stopped altogether in about another 8 to 10 frames, or again about a 300 milliseconds. Um, and then it returned to the cruising pits um, once it had reached speed in around half a second.